Alright, so this is going to be part two of my weekend league gameplay. I think this is like the fourth game, maybe the third. I'm not too sure. Um, the guy I'm playing right now, he was ranked third or fourth last week, maybe? Yeah, so um, I'm playing really conservative on this game. Yeah. And what did we just see there? Um, my go-to, if I have nothing to do on the first play, my first play is always Saints out. Um, I checked where he was, what is he doing, so he stepped over the line. So yeah. Um, so I threw an interception, but, um... For the sake of the video, I try to condense it as short as I can. Um, he didn't end up getting a touchdown, which is good for me. I only wanted him to get a three. Um, so yeah, I didn't have any options there. There's just too much pressure for Russell Wilson to throw anything. Um, so yeah. Now I'm just trying to find a read because the defense that he's playing, it's pretty good. Um, I am not that good enough to tell what formation that is in, but um, he's playing good deep, so it was cover three, cover three match. Alright, so in this route I'm looking for a Franco or I'm looking for a Julio. He didn't catch that because he got decked, but that's okay. So I'm doing uh, going for a deep route here. Um, it's not advised you do this in weekend league. If you can get one, I got a lucky one right here. I possession catch that, and he got it. So, um, yeah, I was lucky for that. I shouldn't have gotten that. Any Madden player would tell you that, you know, that's just a bailout. I might agree with them, but at the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do to win. So, um, yeah. They just saw a great effort there. They want to make sure it pays off. All right, so first downs gives him a first and ten up at the forty four. And I'm trying to run back to the same play again, but we'll see what he does. I don't remember this. Right, I threw that over there, and I don't think I got this. Oh, wait, I did. I got Moss, he came back, that was my playmaker too, um, came back, I just sat down because I don't want to take a hit stick, so, um, I think that was smart, you know, I mean, I could have ran for more, but I don't want to fumble the ball, so, yeah, and X is going to be old. I, I thought X was open. I, if I would have threw it a tad earlier, it might have been picked off. So I'm actually glad that I threw it out of bounds. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I honestly thought that ball could have been picked off. All right, so now I'm going for crossers. Um, he's guarding that side, but he's not looking for B. B should be wide open, and Moss gets it in at the three. So now I'm just going to run this in. Because I'm at the three. There's no point in throwing passes once you're that close. If you're on like the five or to the ten, then you can do like a short pass, but short passes in this game are really risky. Um, as you can see, I just got two yards of Ryan Williams, so that was nice. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. So I motion over my widest receiver. 
and to get some blockage for them. I should have, the smarter play would have probably be to sub in a tight end for that position in the wide receiver and then move him over. But, you know, I was weak in the league. I wasn't really thinking. I was just thinking, like, the fastest way I could score. So, yeah. And this is where I think I did really good on defense. We'll see. I'm pretty sure I did. The Rams now coming out on the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. Oh, yeah, he's fast adjusting, so I didn't have time to make my adjustments. But I'll take the fumble. Yeah, fumble is much needed, so. I got what I wanted. Um, I usually don't play that side of the field on defense, so if you want to go for something, you can. But I have some of my strongest hitters over there, so. If you go over there, you're going to have to pay the price. Uh, I just checked down at a post route, so. Yeah. Right here, I'm going for crosses again, but I don't remember exactly what happens. Okay, so my main route is B, but I usually try to put A maker X. I was an idiot and ran out of bounds. I should have thrown out of bounds. Um, so yeah, that's that's that. Now I'm running post wheels. Um, people don't really know how to guard this online, which is kind of hilarious because like, it's one of the easiest plays to defend, but like, it gets open so many times during a weekend league. Like, it gets open more times than it should. So like, I just try to use it. I I, I mix it up. Like, you know, I always I don't always use it. Cause that's the same formation I do my runs and I also do my PA crossers, so yeah. Now I see he's in the D line and he's moving back because he's cheating a little bit, but that's okay. I see what he's doing. Um, that should have honestly been a pick. That that's my fault. Um, that's that should have been a pick. But I got my points, got out of there. That that was it. So. So they recovered the fumble, but ultimately could not take advantage of the short field. Definitely a lost opportunity right there. I mean, they were in prime position to put six on the board. Um, ended up settling this three. game was kind of hard for me, so, like, like, yeah, I'm up right now, but, like, I, I was scared initially because, like, this guy was in top five last week, I think. So, I thought he was going to have a deadly run. By the way, I suck at guarding runs. So, that's why I play 4 6 all the time because I heard it was the best defensive plays to guard against runs. But, um, it doesn't always work out for me. Sometimes it does. Um, but sometimes my block sheds don't come. I get worried. He honestly should have fumbled that. There were like three guys just waiting for him, but it is what it is. Kyler Murray is probably the fastest QB. Unless you have like Vic or Lamar, maybe. But even then, he's like one of the fastest. Um, the only problem with him is that he's 5'11". I've had him. I tried him. Uh, he worked for a while, but then I realized like the height factor really started to work. Uh, really started to ruin my routes, so I couldn't use him no more. So I stick with Russell Wilson. And he beat me deep. That was a good play by him. So um, I learned from that. And then after this play, I gave cushion to my opponent after that because I had to respect it. You know, I don't want to get beat deep anymore. So. Every single play from here on out, I'm giving him cushion. Um, not playing aggressive. So, yeah. 
Let's just feel it at the goal line. And I'm on Trey Flex, trying to run um, fake screen wheel again. I mean, it's not easy to run this, but, you know, I try. And he just got wide open right there. That's a great one-hand animation, probably the best animation you can get, I think. There's only a few players that have that animation. I think it's Keyshawn, Moss, Odell, Antonio, Jarvis. That's about it, I think. And he's not going to cover that. I should have caught that, but that was a nice hit stick by my opponent. Um, he didn't read that really well, but it's okay. Um, I'm trying to do it again to see if he'll give it to me. But I think, yeah, so he's trying to use her that. And he didn't use her the right place, but um, the corner right there was in the perfect position to swap the ball. So I'm doing an audible here with the fake screen wheel. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give him another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first Yeah, and I'm just messing up my adjustments right now because I accidentally flipped the play. Um, but it's all good. Yeah, I'm not gonna have time, so I'm gonna call a timeout. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this. And then I changed my play up to uh, PA crossers. Or did I? No, no, I didn't. Still fix screen wheel. I still have confidence. I still have confidence. Hold on. That's a great catch. And I think at the end zone, I got picked off or something like that. So um, I eventually got the ball back. And all right, so I'm at the 28 yard. If we don't make any trying to score. Cross drags. Um, I usually don't run this a lot, but you know, once in a while, like if my opponent knows what I'm doing, I try to give him a different view on how I can score. Um, I try to take the knee there, but it didn't let me. I know Graham fumbles a lot. He can catch some great high balls, but he fumbles a lot. So that's one thing you got to be careful. Um, when you do have Graham, make sure that you get the ball and make sure he has a place to land. Because if he doesn't, um, he's going to drop. He's going to either drop the ball or fumble the ball, so make sure he has a place to land when you highball him the ball. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. As I said, uh, Saints out was my normal, but now I'm going to run HP base right here. Got him as well. Got three yards. I mean, it's a small game, but, you know, this is weak in league. Any... And come back to the right. Any yardage right. helps, so right. he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Yeah. Now Rogers throwing on second down. Second down. That should have been pick. Incomplete. But well, man's getting a little loose with the football. Um, I got lucky, right. I guess. I got lucky. Um, don't ever throw it really should have been in short yard situations. Always throw high balls or low balls. Don't throw regular balls because those are easy to pick. So, um, just saying don't do what I did. So, I saw an opening, went for it with Rodgers. If I had uh, Russell Wilson, probably could have got the first, but that's okay. I got my three, got out of there. And as you can see, I'm giving cushion to my opponent because I don't want him to, you know, beat me down deep again. So, I got a pick with Shazier, and the momentum just all of a sudden shifts from him to Because he knew he could have contained me to three, and he wanted to score, so... I think Madden this year is just all about, like, you know, playing what... And playing with, um, 
what Madden Escaping gives you. Right. That is I threw that a little late because I got scared of the pressure. But like this year, Madden, it's just about playing if it's what you got. Um, don't try to do too much extra because you will pay for it. Um, but you know, there's sometimes when you can go for certain things. I think this guy uh, had everything on aggressive. His tackling on aggressive. That's why his players did what he did. So, key thing is that if you see like pass rushing or tackling on aggressive, just start running the ball because your running back will make all his defenders bounce off of each other. So, see that? See how he tackled me and I broke it? That's because his thing's on it. Um, his, his tackling's on aggressive, so, yeah. I accidentally subbed in Franco Harris. I meant Marshawn Lynch, but he can get some yards right here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he got some yards. I was just scared when he actually held the ball because I thought he was going to fumble. So uh, I put in Marshawn Lynch this time. Um, we should get in pretty close. If not, score a touchdown. I don't exactly remember how this played out. Alright, so... Third and second. And then fourth and goal, really. So, Marshawn got in. And, yeah, so... If people are, they have their tapping on aggressive, the best players to use for that, to run the ball with, are Ricky and Marshawn. Anybody that has good carry and huge strength, so, yeah. Le'Veon is good for, like, you know, when people are use, using, um, defensive setting, when their defensive settings are imbalanced. But yeah, Tucker now out to kick this one away. right here, I think I gave him the ball back after I scored. And I think and I'm, I'm about to get another pick if I remember correctly. Over the, end line. the Rams offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. So I have Andrus, Jones, Sanders. I always man up my Sanders and I always give cushion because I just saw what he did. He beat me deep, not right, going for that again. So he can go for another deep shot if he wants. But this is going to get picked off if he keeps on doing that. Yep. And Deion Jones gets picked off. Um, I juke him. And that's about to be game real quick. So, that Deion is insane. Back to the gameplay. Um, I don't remember exactly if I scored here. But we'll see. So, so after I'm out in it's my deep route, and I see X just Corner chilling, because right his corners just went the other way, the opposite yards. way. Yeah, I think I did score. No, now I'm watching this. I remember I did score. And I'm going Saints out again. Um, default. My favorite play in the game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. Right here, I'm about to get bagged, but I accidentally... Oh, well, I didn't... I just um, threw the ball. I thought I actually ran out of bounds real quick. But, no, I did a smart move. I just threw the ball away. I could have gave it a Franco on the snap, but I didn't. So, you live and you learn. So, back on this one. I see a wide open Moss, and that's just going to be game because you can't recover from fourth quarter and you're up 17 points. That's about it. So, yeah. All right, so for this play, I'm sorry, guys. Um, I actually had a return or kick return. Literally, like the clock just went down 11 seconds, so I had a kick return by Dion. Um, this guy wasn't paying attention at all, so I had to abuse him a little bit. And this whole game, I think he was just kind of throwing like Stevie Wonders around. He wasn't. He he didn't. You can tell like he didn't really know what he was doing. Um, so yeah, I was able to abuse him. 
in every single way. I put out my adjustments. Um, I don't know what you guys defense is, what you guys run for defense, but personally, again, like I said before, I like to run four six, just because I don't like my opponents running it in for it's ninety or eighty here. yards on me. So I tried the other other coverages; course. they didn't work out too well for me. But this is just what works for me. For everybody else, it could be different, but yeah. Um, right here, he's running HP wheel. I can already see that formation. I played this guy before, and he just get bagged with Von Miller. Um, so yeah, shout out Von Miller. I need him to get a um a upgrade. Get him to a 99. He's been a 99 almost every year, like from what everybody else has been telling him. So. I don't know why this year you didn't give him no 99. So HP wheel, I fell a little asleep on that, on the user. Um, I should have stayed with uh, Brown, but I didn't. So I paid for it right there. And ever since that game, I'm giving cushions to all of my opponents. I don't know why. But yeah. And he caught that. Um. I should have foresaw that coming. That was a bad read by me. Because I went to guard the slant when I really should have guard and guarded the middle. But. Yeah. Shotgun now for Carr. Flush to his right. I don't know how he caught that. It's Brown. And he'll be brought down at but the 48 yard line. That was a pretty good Just catch. A That's a great catch. catch. It'll be second and nine. He's in bunch, by the way. Um, I think this is vertical. He's about to run. If I'm not mistaken. Now, car again. Flushed out right. yep, I'm guarding a deep route. Right. He honestly should have fumbled that, but that's okay. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another bunch again. I'm giving him space. Bunch is hard to guard, by the way. Yes, indeed. That time. Most you guys that play this game know that bunch is really hard to guard. At least for me. And he's going to get bagged again because, yeah. Oh, he was in wide trail, so I actually guarded him that time perfectly. He's going up for 14 21. But, yeah, like, he's just being crazy right now because, I don't honestly, I don't know what he's doing. I'm predicting he sticks again because he's 4th and 21. Like, if he picks this up, you know. Yeah, you're not picking this up. If you would have picked that up, I would have just gave him the win at that point. Because, like, I, w I wouldn't even want to play no more. The way the plays that he'd be running are the same plays. And I'm at every single spot that he's he wants to throw at. So, it's kind of hard for him to make a read. Um, Tampa 2. Let's talk about Tampa 2. This is a hard formation to, if you know how to set this formation up, it's hard to um, win against, if that makes sense. So I had a little trouble here, I tried to do fake screen wheel, I should have done four verts on Y off trio, but you know, that's okay. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to should have, take should have switched to crosser's yeah, display, but I'm stubborn. Get, they didn't get one there, I got my moss route. Keep making plays like that. Uh, they might just get so a yeah. Yeah. Once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. It's a gain of 17, and it'll give them a first down. I think I threw a pick throw here, if I'm not here, wrong. Or at least I'm about to throw a pick. Oh, oh no, not yet. Hit, I'm pretty sure I threw a pick here. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get. I always have two quarterbacks, the by the way, guys. Um, so after the just because, like, you know, when a quarterback down, gets tired, 
I've put in another one. Um, I have one that's mobile and one that's really accurate, so. I hate that. Like, I got no yards for that, so. Now the old pass completion for no gain, that's something you want to call up out of the playbook too often. Yeah, most offensive coordinators don't have that on their play sheet. So Here, I, I think I just threw a Stevie. I wasn't even paying attention to where I was throwing. Um, but, you know, making sure you take care of the ball I make mistakes, so I threw right into him. And so I pay for it. He's at the five. His guys will get the football back. Now they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out... I should have played aggressive here because he was just going to run the ball. You gotta let that but happen, guys. Is that how we're going to play? It's my mistake. He got open, they got some breathing, some, spark and some breathing room. He's about to run again. But so I think, like, you know, now after that last play. Here's first and some of these users team. online, like, they seem to try to know what they're doing, but they, in reality, they don't. I don't think they know exactly what they're doing. If that makes sense. So, since he decides to run, I'm not giving him no more cushion anymore. So, I'm pretty sure it didn't anymore. I could be wrong. Yeah, so, I'm not giving him no more cushion. I'm using Von Miller. And he's just Looking gonna get nowhere. Can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Um, no gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. Right there, I got stuck. And he will not on Allen Page, I didn't get it here. just in time, so. Allen Page honestly should have been blitzing, but it gave him a scare, you know. So. He didn't want to throw to where my Allen Page was, so yeah. That basically wraps up the game, you know. Like this guy had no chance. He couldn't really make a read throughout the whole game, so it's just hard. But that's gonna do it for this video. Um, I think I got a dot here, but we'll watch that. Let me know if you guys want to see some more gameplay of Weekend League. I have like 19 games left or something like that. Um, I got shocked right there. But yeah, Weekend League, I think um, it's good. Competition's good. It's making me a better Madden player. Um, I'm getting experiences from all different types of levels of Madden. Um, there are people that are really good, and there are people that are really bad. You know, that's a great catch. Great animation. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.